Ladies and gentlemen, Monsieur and Madame, welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. <laughs> we may be the home of the brave here in the United States, but you have got to admire the toughness of the Ukrainian people. When Putin... <laughs> when Putin launched his monstrous war, Everyone was saying Kyiv would fall within 48 to 72 hours, but it is day 15 and they are still standing strong. Yeah. Even yeah. Moving. Inspirational. Even with 150,000 of Putin's soldiers in the country, the Russians control at most about 10% of Ukraine. Hey, Putin, how you like them turnips? <laughs> so far, the Ukrainian military says they have shot down or destroyed 48 Russian airplanes and 80 helicopters, captured or destroyed 303 Russian tanks and hundreds of mechanized vehicles and cars, and have taken out two Russian naval vessels. That's got to especially sting. That... That's got to especially sting Putin. We all know how proud he is of his naval. <laughs> and get this. The Ukrainians didn't sink just any ship because the Russian warship that was told to go f itself at Snake Island has been destroyed. So... Wow. So... Ooh. It yeah. may not have done exactly what the Ukrainians wanted, but it did go down on itself. <laughs> the failure... The failure of the vaunted Russian war machine to overwhelm the much smaller Ukraine has shocked the world. After seeing this slow progress, one of Russia's former combat leaders gave this assessment. You will lose. <laughs> Apparently, Russia's military problems go deep. Early in the invasion, we learned that some troops crossed the border with MREs that expired in 2002. It's, it's never a good sign when your dinner is old enough to enlist. The Russians are also apparently low on fuel, which could be why their giant convoy remains stuck in a column around 20 miles outside of Kyiv that has barely moved since last week. Ha ha! <laughs> They're stuck in a tank conga line. <laughs> Come on, check your body, Putin. Do the conga. No, you can't stay in power any longer, Vlad. <laughs> Got some reciprocal action back here. Even, <laughs> even with the convoy, <laughs> even when the convoy does get moving, it's been slowed down by what military experts have described as cheap Chinese tires, which were a bad copy of the Michelin XZL military tire. <laughs> They've even got their own bootleg mascot, the Marshallin Fellow. <laughs> Marshallin fellow, which, which, why is Russia using such cheap equipment? Well, Russia's foreign minister, a former foreign minister of Russia, says that while Putin has dedicated billions of dollars to modernizing Russia's forces, much of that budget was stolen by oligarchs and spent on mega yachts in Cyprus. And now that his inner circle is rich, Putin can't rely on them because maintaining a luxurious lifestyle disincentivizes top security officials from giving expert advice that might disappoint the autocrat. That's right, they're playing Russia's most popular game. Don't the Ivan, tell the oligarchs what they stand to lose. If you make Putin mad, you could lose your life! As well as your luxurious Bruy Hill sex boat! Sex boat, the boat for making sex! Back to you, Stefan! Thank you, Yvonne. But... Sex boat. Sex boat. Oh, wow. But the biggest reason the Russian military is bogged down is the casual courage of their Ukrainian opponents. Case in point, check out this footage of an explosive disposal team disarming a Russian mom with nothing but their hands and a bottle of water. First of all, this is maybe the bravest thing I've ever seen. Second, can you imagine how good this guy is at Jenga? <laughs> He's pulling out that bottom block on the first round. Come on! <laughs> you can tell these guys are pros because they put that little sheet over the bomb. <laughs> a little blanky, a little blanky. That way, if you can't defuse it, you just sing it a lullaby and it'll fall asleep. 
And also, let us not overlook the bravery of the cameraman here. He doesn't have, why, do they not have tripods in Ukraine? I'm good, I'm good. I got a new, a new screen projector on, that's fine. <laughs> it's not just trained soldiers. Everyday Ukrainians are stepping up to defend their homeland, and a new group just joined the fray because Ukrainian ballerinas are leaving the stage for the front lines. Putin doesn't stand a chance. These are the same people who took down the Mouse King. <laughs> and it's not... Drosselmeyer! Herr Drosselmeyer! It's not the first instance of ballerinas going to war. Who can forget the classic video game Call of Duty Black Swan? <laughs> Check out the incredible transformation of Kiev Ballet's principal dancer, Oleksiy Potyomkin. Here he is on stage, already packing some heat. <laughs> and here he is ready for battle. Jimmy, can we zoom out? Okay, that's impressive. <laughs> that's really impressive. <laughs> Get it, get it. Yeah, yeah! Get up! <laughs> more and more companies are pulling their investments out of Russia, like Nestle, makers of Kit Kat, Smarties, and Arrow. So goodbye, weird Euro chocolate bars. <laughs> <laughs> Next year's Russian Halloween is gonna be even more dismal than usual. Trick or treat, yay! Is potato. We gotta get t-shirts made up, is, is potato. Another food company bowing out is Yum Brands, the parent company of KFC. That's right, Russia. You've incurred the wrath of one of America's most decorated officers, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> His vengeance will be extra crispy. Don't make us send in Captain Crunch. <laughs> With juice, toast, and milk, he's part of a balanced whoop-assing. <laughs> Russians uh, will still be able to get their favorite food, cigarettes, because... <laughs> Camel said their business there will continue to operate. Well, that's lucky, because at this point, Camel Cash is worth more than the ruble. <laughs> Given all they've been through, it's no surprise that hate for Putin's Russia has consumed Ukraine. And hate is a powerful emotion. We all remember the famous scene from Star Wars. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. And hate Putin, I do. Suck it, Vlad! Suck it! You should. Wow. Yo, wow. It finally worked. <laughs> New York Times interviewed a Ukrainian psychologist about the feelings of her fellow citizens. She said, anger and hate in this situation is a normal reaction and important to validate, but it is important to channel it into something useful, such as making incendiary bombs out of empty <laughs> bottles. That is a good therapist. Well, it sounds like your mother's constant pressure for you to have children touches on some unresolved anxiety. Have you considered cutting her brake cables? <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight. My guest is former U.S. Ambassador